Melissa. Happy Friday. Fun stuff today. A couple of my favorite things. A couple of things that people ask about all the time. Super thin and stretchy heat transfer vinyl. Distressed fonts and amazing deals. And I got it all for you today. All right. Super, super cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I found this distressed font that cuts very easily, weaves very easily, and is going to be, I think, great for a lot of your projects, especially if you're looking for like a sports type thing or um, I didn't do a sports design, but it's for a little boy and the design itself is called sports. But anyway, that's okay. All right. So this font itself is um, a distressed font. It's called distressed sports font. The way it was designed, it has large distressed areas, so it's easy to weed. A lot of the fonts that have like all these like little brush strokes and like these itty bitty itty 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 bitty pick areas make it very very challenging to um, cut and it's just a big mess. So if you're looking for cut friendly fonts, we got a million of them on so fancy, um, and this distressed font is one of them. Okay, so it is right here. This is the one that I actually cut. This is part of the best sellers bundle. You get the whole thing today. Is the last day midnight. Um, it's got 162 fonts, including this one I'm going to show you in a second, 174 SVGs, and it's $29.99, which it's over, it's a over $450 value. Okay, so all this stuff, all right, so that's my number one favorite thing. All right, number two favorite thing is this heat transfer vinyl that I'm going to show you. Okay, you can see I've actually already cut my design, all right, and woohoo, Facebook finally got itself figured out, and now I don't. I'm now I'm able to mirror myself, so it's correct for you. Okay, so this is Caesar HTV, but it is ultra light. Okay, and I threw the link up there for you. It's very thin. It like melts into the shirt. It's a little bit stretchy, and it is very tricky to cut. If you don't have the right cut settings, it's not going to cut. The biggest thing, and you'll see this when I weed it, is that the the backing is like a almost staticky. It's not sticky like other heat transfer um, from Caesar and actually other brands as well. Okay, so because it's not sticky, if you don't get the cut settings exactly right when you go to weed, you'll end up pulling your design up too. And then it curls and it's a big mess. So I threw a link up there not only to grab some of this ultralight because you're going to love it, but also some tips including the best cut settings for um, for it. And I'll just tell you real quick what the cut settings are that I used for this because it's a pretty bold, you'll see it's pretty bold. Um, so blade two, speed eight, force 16. Okay. And you'll see that that weeds really easily. Um, if you have something, like I said, this is a pretty big design. I'm putting it on a shirt for a little boy. Um, if you have a really small, intricate design, you can still cut on this ultralight, but you're going to want to adjust your settings a bit. And those are in that blog post that I threw up there also. Blade 4, speed 8, you may actually want to slow it down even a little bit, thickness of 4, and a double cut or two passes, okay? So just make sure that you're looking at that because this stuff is not super forgiving, but it is worth it. People swear by it. Okay, so I'm going to pull you down so you can see what I've done here. Okay, um, let me get my weeding tool. All right, now, I put, I cut the design here, and I put a weeding box around it. And the reason I did that is so that I am more easily able to pull this up and weed it without wasting um, the vinyl. And also, it prevents the entire bit of H, um, the design from curling. It limits it. All right, so the trick with this stuff is you want to make sure that you are weeding it in the d direction, like not, not against the grain, okay? So I'm going to show you. Can you see what I'm doing here? Maybe even a little closer. Okay, so I intentionally left this so you could see um, how I'm doing this. Now, I have my scissors nearby. And typically when I weed, I just pull the whole thing off. But with this, I'm going to be really careful. And if I see that any areas are starting to curl, I'm going to clip this H, this excess, okay? And that's just going to make it so that I'm not pulling areas where I'm not weeding, okay? 
like I said, the backing of this ultra light is almost like a static. Can you see? It's not sticky at all. Okay. All right. So just take your time with this and really don't be afraid to just trim it if you need to so that you're not um, putting excess, you know, strain or um, pressure on areas that have already, that are not yet weeded, okay? I, like I said, I don't typically weed this way, but with this stuff, you got to be really careful. All right. I wish I had, I didn't turn any overhead lights on, so it's a little bit challenging here. Okay, now, so the other reason that I put a box around specifically with distress fonts like this one is because this distress font was specifically made in a way so that a lot of the distressed areas come out when you're weeding. So you can see, you can see that some of the distressed areas have already come out, okay, and just by weeding this whole box. All right, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull out the small distressed areas, which are small, but not too small. Sometimes when they're too small, you can't weed them at all, and it just creates a giant mess. This distressed sports font, which, as I said, if you're just joining us, is um, part of Sofonti's best-selling bundle, which expires tonight. This one is specifically created so that it has large um, or relatively large distressed areas. Okay, now I made this design, I created this design myself, but I did it in a way so that I have a smaller um, set of the font, smaller example for you to see, and then a larger one, because I wanted you to see that even at a smaller size, it was pretty um, easy to weed. Okay, and then there's an area right here. All right, now, again, the trick with this ultralight the Caesar Ultralight, which I threw the link up, it's from Swing Design. The trick with this is to make sure that you get those cut settings exactly right. Because if the cut settings are off and you don't have a clear cut through your vinyl, your heat transfer vinyl, you're going to end up stretching. And when you stretch to, when you're weeding, that's when you end up getting um, the curling. Okay, so this design is now weeded, completely weeded. And I'm just going to trim around it now and we are ready to press it okay this needs to be pressed at 305 for 15 to 20 seconds and it is cold peel if you try to peel if you try to weed away this backing right off of the heat press it's going to pull the vinyl up too okay so it's cold peel all right i'm working on the back of a shirt that my little guy the goodwill pile Okay, that's what I do. So I recycle shirts for projects. Okay, so we got that on there. Now, this design is just big and solid, and so I don't really even need to um, use any kind of high temperature tape to keep it down. But if you have small things, you may want to just put um, a piece of you know, high temp tape on each side so that your design doesn't move while you're pressing. Okay, and then you need your Teflon sheet. All right, and 20 seconds. Okay. All right. So, um, again, when this is done, we are. It's going to be cold peel. Okay. So you got to wait. Now, someone's asking about weeding lines. Um, yes, we have tutorials on weeding lines. A weeding box. I literally just use the draw box tool or draw um, a rectangle tool in Silhouette Studio to do that. All right. Now. I'm going to wait until this cools, okay, it's on here, stuck on here, but I'm going to wait for it to cool before I peel it off, because if I peel too soon, like I said, it's going to pull the heat transfer up with it, okay, so just let it, let it cool down a bit. If you have vinyl like this that's mixed in with your other vinyl, one way to tell is because you can see that this carrier sheet is not clear, it's kind of cloudy, that's a dead giveaway that it is ultralight. Okay, and then you just peel this up, and as I said, this is not sticky, and that's why you really got to be careful with um, your cut settings, okay? All right. Okay, super cute. All right, as you can see. All right, so 
distressed enough that it looks distressed, right? But easy to weed still. And this stuff is so, I wish you could feel it. It is like, it's almost like screen printed on there. It's very, very soft. It's stretchy, okay? And it's, I, I wish you could see, there's like no dimension to it. And it's matte. A lot of people like matte heat transfer vinyl and um, ultralight is matte, okay? And I actually didn't even, did I do it straight? I still don't totally straight, but anyway, there you go. Little dude, cute. So even though this one's called sports distress font or distress sports font, um, it's obviously you can use it for lots of things and people are always looking they're like I need a boy font or boy font what's a what's a boy font right right but this one is definitely more on the um, at least gender neutral right we're not so swirly and all those things okay all right so if you're interested in that go grab it part of the best sellers bundle on so fancy I threw the link up if you're interested in the ultralight it comes in about nine or ten colors from swing design gray white black red blue yellow, um, let me see if there's, it's obviously the gray, um, the cut settings, I threw up the link for the cut settings, I threw up the link so you can grab the ultra light, it comes in a bundle, comes single sheets, whatever you want, all right, all right guys, have a fabulous day and enjoy your weekend, see you soon.